As we reflect on the first half of the year, it has been filled with a combination of challenges for RRT, both natural and man-made. From fires in Australia to an explosion in North America, RRT's response was stronger more than ever. Continue watching to see how RRT's efforts reflect the power of teamwork, finding ways to tackle the hardest of challenges. We've also included a sneak peek of our three winners of RRT's cookie colouring competition in commemoration of our 10 year anniversary. Australia has been hit with extreme heat waves, resulting in the hottest weather in years. Volunteers from across Australia have rallied together to support the Narabri, Hillend and Mooney fires, providing meals to firefighters on the front line. RRT's bulk water carrier made its way to fight the Hillend blaze. The ingenuity of our teams on the ground meant that 3,000 prepared meals were transported to several locations, regardless of the rugged terrain and difficult access. Bathurst volunteers provided meals for the New South Wales Rural Fire Service Association Family Day event, with families of firefighters who supported the recent outbreak joining in on a fun day out. With the combination of over 4,044 meals served to emergency teams and people affected, and 678 hours gifted from volunteers, the uniting power of our volunteers was stronger than ever. RRT New Zealand provided a record number of meals at events recently, and the Hamilton Children's Day event was one of them. Volunteers provided a staggering 4,140 meals to support disadvantaged children and their families. Cookie the Kookaburra, our friendly mascot, was gifted to selected children to take home. I Have a Dream Day, Wangari, was another inspiring event held to reward young people and their families, seeking to improve their lives through a mentoring scheme. Volunteers served 900 burgers for this evening event. RRT served 2,100 meals as a thank you to nurses from Middlemore Hospital, showing appreciation for the care they provide daily to those in need. Making our way to the United Kingdom, and RRT Leicester supported the CEO sleepout event by serving breakfast to participants. This is a God saver. This is thank you very much from RRT for uh, supplying us for breakfast. So I spent the night out with CEO sleepover here in Leicester uh, to raise awareness and funds for um, homelessness here in uh, Leicester. RRT Kilmanock assisted on two occasions in the multi-service counter-terrorism and the police counter-terrorism exercises at Prestwick Airport. Here, various emergency service teams participated and RRT served them with meals and refreshments. Moving along, emergency service teams rallied together to conduct a missing person search training exercise and concluded the training with a RRT barbecue lunch. Smiling faces, RRT served over 230 meals. In addition to this, RRT supported 180 emergency service personnel as they completed a missing persons search management course. The team then provided 450 meals to those who attended the emergency service event at Perth Fire Station. RRT Exeter supported the Julian House where they provided a hot breakfast to those taking part in the sleepout event. It's Annabelle here from Julian House. Last night we held the big Exeter sleep out here at St James's Park. The last several years, Rapid Relief have come and provided much needed bacon sandwiches and hot drinks on the morning after the sleep out, and it means so much to us their support. We cannot say thank you enough. Wrapping up their support, RRT Bournemouth assisted in the proactive multi agency training event at Bovington Garrison which consists of a simulated crash where crews demonstrate their skills in an emergency situation. RRT provided meals to teams on site. In late March, an explosion ripped through the RM Palmer Company's chocolate factory in West Reading, Pennsylvania. Volunteers from RRT Philadelphia arrived at the scene to serve the first responders and search and rescue teams. Our thoughts and prayers are with the families of the victims, the injured, and the entire West Reading community. The community of Pajaro CA was flooded after a river embankment failed during a storm that hit the state of California. Communities were surrounded by several feet of water, affecting approximately 3,000 residents. With many weeks of cleanup, 
RRT San Francisco stepped in to support by serving a fresh meal to 500 locals. In the spirit of uplifting the youth, RRT St. Vincent supported 17 different schools, serving over 200 burgers in a day for the community to come together to showcase their athletic talents and have fun. In some other news, RRT teamed up with One School Global, one of the world's largest independent network of schools, to roll out a colouring competition to commemorate RRT's 10-year anniversary. Over 500 students from around the globe took part in the competition. It was difficult to choose first, second and third places, with so many creative and unique submissions to choose from. But without further ado, in third place we have Camberley. In second place we have Kenton. And in first place, the winner of the cookie colouring competition, a sibling to one of the final three, Nevada. A deserving conclusion from OSG students across the globe. And that's all for now. To stay up to date with RRT, give us a follow or visit our website. Thanks again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next time.